Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Our next guest has come a long way from being a child star on Kids Incorporated. Ooh, that used to be my show. That was my jam right my there. Yeah, uh... To having a career in music that has spanned over 20 years. Please welcome the man with the soulful voice, Rasan Patterson. Yay! How are you? Good to see you. Good to see you. Hello, welcome. Mm, thank you. Oh, How y'all doing? How are you? You look amazing. Thank yes. you very much. So do y'all. That was my jam show. I'm just going to start by putting it up. Kids Incorporated. K I D S. Kids Incorporated. That was a long time ago. That was my jam show. It was a long time ago. However, People don't know that about you. They don't know that yeah. Fergie and Mario Lopez were on shows like that. Yes. I mean, Justin Timberlake and Britney Spears were on that show as well. Well, they were on the Mickey Mouse Club. The Mickey Mouse Club. Yes. But wasn't that all like the same kind of concept? Mm, or was that really. your Was that your rivals? They were our rivals in yeah. a way. The kids uh, incorporated. Yeah, we had um, storylines and things okay. like, like that. Like a whole yeah, band. It was a real situation. situation. It was like the, the, the first kids bop kind yes. of thing. Yes, yes. We yeah. played yeah. characters. They were themselves. Yes, yes. it was you a good time. So talk to us about a unique way on how you were Discovered. Talk to us about how oh, Kim yeah. feels. Mom, how you discovered. Yeah, um, a Wednesday night in New York City, 1984, I got a phone call from Tootie's mother from the mm. Facts of Life, Chip mm. Fields. And I was in the bed, my mother came in and was like, uh, Tootie's mother's on the phone, she wants you to sing for her. And I was like, what? So uh -oh. I get up, get on the phone. She says, hey baby, can you sing me a line of a song? So I started to sing Patti LaBelle's If Only You Knew. Mm -hmm. It's my favorite song at the time. So I sang the first line and she said, okay, put your mother back on. So I go back to bed. My mother comes in and says, well, you gotta wake up, you're gonna pack a bag, you're going to California tomorrow. Oh, wow. And you're gonna audition for a TV show. And if you get the part, you'll live with her until someone from our family comes out. And if you don't get the part, she'll take you to Disneyland and send you back home. How about that? <laughs> Win-win. Yeah, so I get there, she picks me up, she immediately puts me into her production of a play that she was doing, a musical. So she had no intentions of sending me home. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and then, that Friday I auditioned, and then Monday I started working on Kids Incorporated. Look at God, yeah. just yes. destined. Yeah, that was that was a real overnight type of situation. Yeah. Well, but now now you're 35 years in the business, yes. Yes. and now it's your seventh studio album, um, mm -hmm. Heroes and Gods. Yes. Mm. And you've always been an indie artist, so mm. did that allow you to to really project and show your creativity and how you wanted to to show what type of music you wanted to do? Well. My first record deal was on MCA back okay. in 1995. I got mm -hmm. my record deal. And I was on that label for about five years, made two records with them. Mm -hmm. And the artist that I am and have always been, it's very clear. You know, I'm very clear of who I am, what mm -hmm. I want to do. So my approach has always been from an indie minded perspective. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that had been a struggle also in dealing mm -hmm. with major labels because <clears throat> rarely do they get people who are clear on what they want to do and right. stand by mm -hmm. their vision. So that's always been the case with me. So moving into being an independent artist in terms of label, it's the same. You know, yeah. the approach is exactly the mm -hmm. same. Why the title Heroes and Gods? Uh, um, just a reminder of who we are as black folks, mm -hmm. the power and influence we have, Tell pushing em. culture forward, you know. Um, the God within ourselves mm -hmm. that we have to eventually identify with, mm -hmm. you know, and um, you know the first God I ever knew was my mother. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So just to make that clear, yes. to put that out <laughs> into the world, so the that was know. the first God I ever knew. And um, in terms of heroes, you know, Dan Carroll was a hero. Mm -hmm. She was, you know, um, Prince and Prince. Whitney and Michael and all of the great legendary artists who have influenced mm -hmm. us yes. and helped to push culture forward. Mm -hmm. Those are our heroes, you know, and gods in, in, in a lot of ways yes. also. Now, Rasan, you are an amazing songwriter. Thank um, you. And, and one of the things that you say um, attributes to your songwriting is the fact that you're able to live your authentic self. Yes. You identify as a gay, a, a, a gay artist, that you're yes. out and gay as an artist. Yes. Now, why do you think it is important to you to have that authenticity when you're writing and portraying your gift? Freedom. Mm, I know mm. that message. Won't he do it? <laughs> you know, freedom and the right to be myself 100% yes. authentically. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I was never one of those male urban acts mm -hmm. that had to be in a pretense 
filming videos with chicks right. in the bed and all Dancing. that. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, it caused some resistance. Mm -hmm. It's been challenging. But um, in the black realm of music, it's still a little difficult because we like to keep things, you know, under the rug. Yeah, under that's the rug. Yeah. And when you look at the pop market, you have the Sam Smiths and you have, you know, we do now have the Billy Porters, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying, mm -hmm. who represent yes. in television and Broadway and that yes. kind of thing. But in terms of musically, you know, I don't recall anyone on an R&B chart that has been out as right. a black gay artist, mm -hmm. male wise, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, what, what, would you, what would you say to that, that young artist, that young entertainer, period, that feels that it's difficult to be their authentic selves? What, what would you say to them right now? I would say it's not difficult. <laughs> I would say you make it difficult for yourself if you fear that you will be ostracized or ridiculed for being who you are naturally and who mm -hmm. you're born to be. And it really shouldn't be an option. We should all be free to just be who we are. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Well, speaking of free, you're on a world tour. Well, I have been yes. traveling. Yes, so, so talk, to us, talk to us about that and, and, and that feeling that you get when you're in front of that live audience. Uh, it's amazing. It's, it's still mm -hmm. wonderful after all these all years. All these years. I uh, just got back from South Africa last week. Yeah. Oh, I did see that you were coming up. I yeah. saw the posters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, was, yeah. I was at the uh, yes. Joy of Jazz Festival. It was wonderful. Okay. The mm -hmm. audiences They're are always amazing. beautiful. Yeah. And it's still very much a passion that I have as a creative to, to make music and mm -hmm. perform for people. Well, Rasan, I'm so glad that you were here yeah, to you. share it's and good to give see us. You again. It's so good to see you yeah. and give us your light. Uh, thank you so much for being here today. And his album, Heroes and Gods, is available on all music streaming platforms.